When it comes to great adventures, there are a few places in the world more exciting than this, Vietnam. From the hustle and bustle of Ho Chi Minh City to those great regional spots where artisan foods are still crafted by hand, there is so much to see and do. A lot of life in Vietnam centres on the Mekong River. And so, you want to go cruising, and I do it in style. This is the luxury river cruiser RV Amelotus. So get ready, adventure types. We're going on a food trip that's completely unforgettable. Yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? Right now, it's dawn on the Mekong River, which I reckon is just the best time to be out and about. You know, the Mekong's more than just a river. It's essential to food, to homes, to transport. The Mekong really is a way of life. You see, when life happens on the waterways, it makes sense that that's where you put the markets. So these boats here all roped together. They're not just hanging out. This is the market. They literally tie themselves together and busily get on with their trade. People come on down, buy what they need, and off they go. Look at all this beautiful fruit. It's all homegrown and hand-picked. Um, how much? How much? Uh, 20 kilo. Uh, 2,000 a kilo? Yeah. That is so cheap. Yeah, one kilo? Lum chum. Lum chum, uh, rambutan. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, delicious. Mmm, that's perfectly sweet. And a little bit earthy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. On the banks of the river here at Kai Bay, there's an amazing little community of artisan producers doing the most extraordinary things. You've got everything from puffed rice, homemade candies, the thing that's got me really excited is this handmade rice paper. I have a go? Yeah? yeah? OK, OK, OK. All right, so I've got my rice batter here. You spread it straight onto the stretch fabric and immediately you've got to spread it out. The idea is to get it thin enough that it'll be flexible, but not so thin that it's going to break. Then cover it with the lid and let it steam. The inner part of the rice grain is used to make the batter. The outer part, the husk, actually fires up the heat underneath the pot. So it's kind of every bit is used, nothing goes to waste. Yeah? OK. I think this is OK, actually. Just look at this. It's an absolute disaster. You know what, if you travel with APT on the river cruise, this is the kind of place you can come and explore for yourself. <laughs> well, in my adventures up the river, I've secured the ingredients that I need. I've got the rice paper from the factory, rambutans from the floating market. Now, I promise you something really exciting to eat, and you are going to love this. Crispy little rice paper parcels filled with a prawn salsa and a rambutan dressing. Easy, delicious, and you can knock this up in less than 10 minutes. You'll need to start off with a small amount of finely diced veggies like onions and carrot, plus lemongrass and chilli. With a small amount of oil, you've got to pop that into a wok and let it fry off until it's good and softened. I don't know what I was thinking, deciding to cook over an open flame in this heat. It's about 37 degrees, 95% humidity. The only smart guy in the neighbourhood is this dude in the hammock. It's the only place to be. And then we need to grab ourselves some prawns. Now these are great. These are the tiny little river prawns that you find at all the markets around here. You want around about 80 grams per person. Put them in and let them cook till they're just pink. Next, we're going to throw in a little bit of hoisin sauce, just a couple of tablespoons. You've got to cook it for just a couple of minutes and then set it aside to cool. Then it's time to make the dressing. For that, you need some roasted cashews as well as some garlic and an ingredient you may not use very often in your cooking, which is the roots of the coriander plant. They've got a really peculiar flavour. Scrape off any dirty bits if needed, and then pound the whole lot to make a paste in the mortar. Next, our rambutans. Their sweetness will really balance out the richness of the nuts, so grab about four of them. Oh, and when lychees are in season, you could use them instead. You give it a pound till it's lovely and pasty. The last thing we will need for our dressing is a small amount of fish sauce. It'll both enrich the dressing and also help to bring out the lovely flavour of those prawns. we have got to be a bit careful when these boats go past. I nearly lost one of these boards a minute ago. The last thing we need to do is our rice paper, and this is the stuff we got at Kai Bay, beautifully handmade. 
I don't know if you know this about rice paper, but because it's steamed when it's prepared, if you pop it into hot oil, it'll puff up like a prawn cracker. Cut it to appropriate size shapes, around, I don't know, maybe 10 centimetres across, fry them in hot oil, and then we can finish our prawn mixture. And with those done, all we need is to grab some beautiful Asian herbs, maybe some greens, pop that through the prawn mixture, spoon it into your rice crisps, and top with the dressing. It's elegant, it's healthy, it's delicious, and so very easy. You can use it as a canapé, a light lunch, a main course for dinner, whatever you like. It's got that classic Vietnamese sharing kind of thing going on. Good, good, good. OK. <laughs> Stick around, because later in the show, there is one recipe I've really been dying to test out in country. It's my caramel pork. I'm going to give that a crack in Ho Chi Minh City. Can't wait to see what the locals think. <laughs> <laughs>